hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here i'm tando and this is my youtube channel <laughs> and today i will be showing you guys how to take your own pictures i had actually intended to upload a video i'd actually intended to upload a video where i was actually teaching you guys how to edit your pictures right and then i figured mm, it kind of doesn't make sense to teach you guys how to edit pictures when i haven't shown you guys how to take pictures i also felt like it would be a good time to shoot this video purely because we're at home and kind of can only take pictures by ourselves and at home so I'll just show you guys how I do that I'm sure you've seen some of the pictures on my Instagram already so if you haven't you should probably be following me on Instagram this is my Instagram right here so please do follow me on instagram i do have an ig story highlight that shows you guys how i take my own pictures it's outdated but the concept is still the same the only thing that has basically changed is i own a camera now um and i don't have um what's this thing called again clicker a shutter button but the remote control to take your pictures i lost it i've lost many of them i always use them so i thought that um if i could just make a video where i am teaching you guys how to take your own pictures with just your phone and sorry but you kind of need a tripod i mean you can balance your phone on something but it's just so impractical like if you're watching this just get a tripod you you need it you kind of need it if you're watching a video like this then you definitely need a tripod so that's my one non-negotiable everything else i'm sure you can work around so if you feel like you'll be interested in this video carry on watching and if you like it, if you enjoy it, then please give me a thumbs up. And those of you who haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're on the road to 1K, if you hadn't already noticed. Um, so yes, please do subscribe. I'd really, 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 really appreciate it. If that button is still red, um, please consider making it gray. Like now you done okay cool let's get the video started so this is the setup process one of the most important things to have when you're trying to take a good picture is definitely a really good background or a location and the best kind of backgrounds are just simple backgrounds that don't take away from the overall picture and you stand out as a subject so i learned this handy trick from prince edgy on instagram and i'm literally just sticking a plain white curtain from the house on the wall and although i kind of failed at that you always make a plan and there we go i have a simple neat background that i can use for my pictures okay so we're outside and i could have done this inside but but nah like i needed more space and everything so this is okay 
right so this is what i tried to set up all right cool so i will put you guys over there and then you can just see everything unfold so here is basically the setup that i put together there's an orange ottoman that i put there and then there's my tripod and that's the view from my phone i'll be using the back camera to shoot so i'm just setting up the camera and i'm going to be using a self timer since i did mention that i no longer have my clicker so that's what you can see from the screen the countdown positioning myself and then boom there's the picture i check what the picture looks like and it's really important when you're first starting out to double check the pictures over and over again so that you can see that you're in the correct frame and that you're actually taking the picture that you want to have at the very end. So here I am trying again, fixing myself. I switched the camera around because I saw that I was struggling with the front camera, with the back camera. I cannot stress enough the importance of playing around with the settings of the camera, which I'm doing here, to avoid getting pictures that aren't up to standard. Like this one has dual exposure, so there's parts that are dark and parts that are too bright. Then this picture here is underexposed, so it's very dark. And then this final picture here, as you can see, is completely overexposed so you just need to check the settings lock your autofocus so that you get a good picture and then thereafter you can pose and take all your pictures freely because now you're comfortable with that your settings are correct and you obviously will have to get up a couple of times to press the shoot button those are the dark times of using self timer but if it's the only thing that you have then literally that's all you can do it's hard work to create content guys nobody said it was easy anyway after having a look i then came with these final pictures which you might have seen on my instagram already <laughs> So these are already edited and I'll show you next week how to edit pictures. So here I'm setting up with a new outfit for taking full body pictures. So basically on my Instagram, I only have mainly half body and full body pictures. So that's why I'm focusing on that. I'm not much of a selfies girl. So here I was just contemplating whether to keep the white curtain and I decided against it. So here I'm just checking if I appear properly on the phone. And with full bodies, you just really need to get your framing right. That's one of the most important things about full body pictures. And here I'm fixing my makeup, making sure I still look pretty. But anyway, to guide your framing, you see those nine boxes that you just saw? That's what you need to use to make sure you're in the correct frame. But I'll just get into it right now so basically by framing you just need to appear properly in the image you can't be cutting off your head or your feet or too far to the side like this picture you literally need to be in frame see here my head is chopped off so you need to really play around with the camera and make sure you're positioned correctly to get the shot that you want so it involves a lot of going back and forth and actually checking if you're still in the frame. As you can see, I move the camera around a lot and try to get the correct shot. It's a hard game, this one, but it's worth it in the end because I did get some good pictures. 
and I think it proved the point that I was trying to make here. So it's a lot of admin, but at the end of the day, you don't have to rely on anybody to take your pictures. And when I tell you the details matter, you really need to make sure that the details are in place. You don't want your picture to be ruined by the fact that, I mean, your feet are cut off, for example. So I'm done and these are the pictures that I came up with. <sighs> I'm so ahead. tired. I don't feel like I've gotten the perfect picture but um, I think I've gotten the point across I was trying to kill two birds with one stone but I failed but this is just let me take off these shoes ones. this is just to show you guys that practice makes perfect and the more you do something the more you get better at it I suck at this um yeah I, psh, I don't suck i don't suck but yeah no it's shown me today um i don't know how to use the back camera but you should um i struggled because i didn't have my clicker and it's okay it's okay um we live and we learn so I'm gonna carry on doing this so that I know better next time and can do better next time but I'm sure you guys have gotten the gist of it all and um, <clears throat> yeah yeah And that brings us to the end of today's video and if you've made it here shout out to you <laughs> and please 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 like the video if you enjoyed it and yet again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe share this video with your friends family teachers and colleagues who also want to create content at home like quarantine content or whatever and yeah please turn on your notifications as no please turn on your your what Please turn on your 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 notifications. Please turn those things on. Next week, I will be uploading a video on how to edit your pictures. So I'm sure if you've made it to this part of this video, then you you might wanna also know what to do with the pictures after which is edit because anyway stick around and I'll be uploading a new video on how to edit next week and thank you so much for watching guys and I appreciate all the support I love you so much bye bye <laughs>